Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I have not been on YouTube in so long. Don't ask me why because I have really bad excuses. Um, I have a bunch of new subscribers, so welcome to my channel, you guys. I hope you're excited for these new videos that I'm thinking of because I have a couple ideas. This video is just going to be one of my recent everyday looks. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, so I'm like, this is going to be the look I'm going to do for this video. The next videos, I think I'm just going to look at my more popular videos. That will be the videos that I make after this one. So stay tuned, you guys. Like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I hope you enjoy this new video. Let's get to it. Alright you guys, first things first, clip your hair back because we want to be clean. And this is my super ratchet makeup bag. I got my stuff in it. And this is my gummy vitamins. Just kidding, it's just gummy bears. Um, this is, I needed more makeup so I went to grab some. Primer. Porefessional. Rub it all over your face and cover your pores. This is my L'Oreal Brow Stylist because my brows are going to be on fleek. Just like the Anastasia one, they're like dupes. My eyebrow, um, I tried to trim it and I cut too much hair and there's a patch in it now. So we got to fill that in. First things first, priorities. So I fill in the beginning of my eyebrows lightly, not too much. The ends, I do darker. That patch was not filling itself in, so I had to grab my darker one, and it worked. Then I brush out the front of my eyebrows, just so they're faded. My Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm just using it to carve out my brows, make them fleeky. I use this concealer as an eye primer, too. When I carve out the top of my eyebrows, I try and make it super straight into the shape I want them to look like. I took a pump of this foundation because I like its coverage. And in this foundation, it's got a really nice glow. So I just mix them together. And it's also because one foundation is too dark and the other is too light. So also why I mix them together. And I'm taking this little brush I got from Amazon because I'm a broke bitch. And... It actually works pretty good. Look how flawless. Mm. I'm taking my concealer again. And you basically just want to conceal your entire life with this. Just go ahead and conceal everything. Just put it everywhere. And blend it out with the same brush. I realized I put too much concealer, but you can't really go back. So just keep blending that. After you blend it, you're going to look super ghostly and kind of scary. But don't worry, it gets better. I couldn't read the label because it's old and it faded, but it's my ColourPop contour stick. You basically want to contour everything that you wish you had on your face right now. So I did my cheekbones and my nose shape to change it up a little bit. Nobody likes being basic, so I blend it out as much as I can because you don't want no harsh lines and this product is really easy to blend. That's why I like it. This is the powder I use to bake slash set my face, and I use this brush from Sephora. It's a blending brush. Works really good for blending. And then I take my dirty beauty blender sponge. It's not a real beauty blender because <laughs> if anyone spent $20 on a sponge, no. I got mine probably for $5. Again, got this for free. It was my Sephora birthday pickup. It's my blush. I use it every day. After like a second, you want to dust off all that powder because it sticks like a bitch and it's really hard to take off or blend. You guys can just skip this part because it is way too complicated and I have not even figured it out yet. Look how confused I look. I'm taking my BH Cosmetics. This is a contour and blush palette that will last me a lifetime. I took a separate brush here to blend out the contour. And now I'm dusting off all the cocaine looking powder because it served no purpose. And I'm putting this highlighter on my cheekbones to make them pop. I also like to highlight the tip of my nose and my lip to make it a little more plump. 
This is what's going to make my eyeshadow super sharp. I'm taking my Modern Renaissance, mixing these two colors here, and that's going to be right over my crease. This is going to be a really nice transition shade, and I'm just blending it in there. Now I'm going to mix these two colors, and that's going to go right in my crease, and it's going to kind of carve it out a little bit. Using my Morphe E15 brush, I'm going to take this bronze color here and put it right below my bottom lash line to darken it up a bit. Okay, so with this color, I put it right over my lid because it just makes a pop and it looks really nice, so I recommend it. My highlighter, going to go right in the corner of my eyes. And I also apply it to my brow bone to make that on fleek too. Extra fleekness, ain't nobody complaining. This is my cheap ass liquid liner, but it works like a boss. And I use it every day. I've literally used this for the last two years. I always do my winged liner super quick. I don't really care that much about it. If I mess up, it's okay, I still got that contrast, and that's the most important part. This is my mascara. I stole it from someone, but it works really good. It's one of my favorite mascaras that I've ever used before. And don't forget to put it on the bottom lashes. Fig lashes, I always got these. It's like the icing to my cake. These are Salon Perfect 615s exclusively at Walmart. Alright, this next step is super important. You want to have big, juicy looking lips, you got to line them first. Yeah, overline them. It's a little extra. It'll still make it look bigger. I do it sometimes. Okay, this is my Kylie in the shade Leo. Um, I got a bad formula so it doesn't dry completely matte. I'll have to set it with some powder to get it to dry completely matte. This color is super difficult to apply. It's dark, it can be patchy at times, and it dries really quick, which makes it more difficult. And just the finishing touches, and we are all done. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history yeah. Go look in the mirror, say Hey, I'm sorry for all the pain I'm sorry Alright, you guys This is the end of my video This is the final look Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video Um, this was one of my what would I call it? This was just a look that everybody was just asking me about. Um, more like just people complimented me on it and they were like, oh my god. So I was like, let me just make a video. So here it is, you guys. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And um, let's all hope and pray that there are more videos to this channel. I'll see you guys next time.